Hi, I'm Casey Gray, as seen on TV, and this is D&D Expertise, Episode 6. The adventuring party is as much a staple of D&D as the 20-sided dice. The players participating in the game have gathered together to form a group of heroes that will take on any challenge the GM throws at them. That's one of the core assumptions of how this game works. The player's handbook doesn't talk much about it though, spending the majority of its page count focusing on your character as the individual. That's understandable, since it's the character you personally will be playing as, but it can lead to some unfortunate outcomes with inexperienced players, who aren't taking into account that this is a group game with no main character. How often have you encountered a player character who is constantly going off to be alone? They're a solitary lone wolf who is quiet, serious, and doesn't need any friends. The strong silent type, probably with a tragic backstory of loss that makes them so antisocial. It's a classic archetype in plenty of stories, but it doesn't translate well to the unique nature of D&D. Don't Split the Party is as much advice on how to save your DM a headache as it is tactics, because every time someone branches off, the Game Master has to essentially run a second game of D&D concurrently. Either your actions happen off screen, or you steal the spotlight by individually becoming as important as everyone else combined. That's not to say you're all chained together like a prison gang, and a good game contains moments of focus on every individual character. It's only a problem if it happens too much. While you're free to scout ahead as often as you like, it's important to do so with the meta-knowledge that your character is probably going to be doing so in the background, while the active focus sticks with the rest of the group. When you're not with the team, you can't banter or contribute your ideas to the conversation since you're not there. Radios actually solve that almost completely, but most D&D parties aren't packing sophisticated means of real-time communication. It can sometimes be okay to cause trouble for your party members if it seems like a fun piece of roleplay, like if your character just can't stand royalty and ends up ruining their audience with the queen. Just make sure you get everyone's permission out of game first. Let them know what you want to do and why you think it'll be fun, but only follow through on it if everyone is on board. Having people be mad at your character can be fun. Having your group mad at you is not. If some of the other players are invested in seeing the scene play out well, then your PC will have to bite their tongue so your friends can get the emotional payoff they were looking forward to. 